An American woman's disappearance in Aruba will be reenacted by police. An official from the prosecutor's office says it's probably going to happen on Monday or Tuesday. The weather conditions then are expected to be similar to the day that Robin Gardner vanished. Clark Howard, he's your money expert here on HLN, and HLN's the only place where you can get his great money-saving tips every single day. But today, he's got a secret about bottled water and how you may be wasting your money. Minneapolis, you are the healthiest city in the nation. Congrats. Forbes magazine says the city jumped from third to first place this year. D.C. is number two, followed by Boston, Portland, Oregon, and Denver. The American College of Sports Medicine ranked the top 50 cities based on obesity rates, the availability of sports facilities, and other factors. There is some fierce competition and a huge upset in Cincinnati sports yesterday. Here's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I love it, Jokes. Fun, they're just going for it. Can't get any cuter than that. For the first time in 24 years, the Detroit Tigers are division champs. And Joe, it's been a while, hasn't it? We're gonna try to follow the uh, the uh, wiener race there. Um, <laughs> yes, it has been a while. 1987 actually was the last time the Tigers won the division championship. Uh, Fatal Attraction was the highest grossing movie that year. That's been a while. Okay, George Michael's Faith was the number one song. And get this, an <laughs> average price of an unleaded gas of ga a gallon of gas was Kill me with it. 95 cents. Fun facts brought to you by the sports department. Ouch. Practicing it in front of the mirror. Actually, I don't know if that's a fact, but I'm just assuming yeah. I would practice he it. He did a nice mirror. job, and I guess it paid off. It All is. that hard work. You got work. a smooch. <laughs> and she's going to be in Dancing with the Stars. She's going to be huge soon. Oh, boy. Here we go. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> yeah. Republican presidential hopeful Michelle Bachman stopped by The Tonight Show with Jay Leno last night. Leno asked Bachman about a potential running mate. She joked with him that. Leno couldn't handle the pay cut. It is possible that riots that rock the Middle East and Europe could happen here. That's what New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg actually thinks. So imagine going for an hour long swim, then doing it again and again and again for 59 more hours. That's what extreme swimmer Diana Nyad set out to do. And our own Dr. Sanjay Gupta followed her journey for more than a year. He gives us the inside scoop on her training and her painful failure in this week's Human Factor. You want to know what the world's largest chocolate bar looks like? I could take that baby on in a second. You want that too, Joe? Yes, please. <laughs> it is official. A Lakers basketball star now has the strangest first and last name in sports. I can't believe he actually went through with this, Joe. And I'm really, I, this jersey's going to be one of the pageant people are going to want like crazy. Yeah, good point. Good point <laughs> enough. We're, we're talking about Ron Artest, or formerly Ron Artest, and yes, he officially went through with it. His name is now Meta World Peace. Follow me? Yeah, this helmets. Morning. Anytime he's in the kitchen, be more careful. You gotta, you gotta watch it if you're an elf athlete. You he know? needs to wear a glove. Right, a glove and a helmet. Why not? <laughs> it's happened twice. Do it again. <laughs> Words of wisdom brought to you by Natasha Curry. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. You bet. Gray says that she will not be wearing a pants suit, but tons and tons of sequins Monday night for the premiere of Dancing with the Stars. In addition to her show each night on HLN, she's spending all day learning to cha-cha with her professional dance partner, Tristan McManus. Now, yesterday on Morning Express, I got the lowdown straight from Nancy and Tristan. 